let's go over the dock let's go over the dock uh, this is actually going to be my first time of really being able to see the ins and outs of everything i know a couple people with them but i'm actually going to sit in all the seats and really just enjoy this i might actually be able to drive this today too so stay tuned i may drive it in this video but it's automatic i heard that the automatic delica transmissions aren't too bad i think they're even better than the five speed i think someone told me that but here we have it lots of room three row seating has some ac vents right here like, look at this i could sit like this just normally imagine going on a road trip like this and your back seat passengers are sitting comfortably has a huge moonroof right here and then even the third row seats again someone five nine comfortably sitting back here like comfortably nice curtains wait 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 i'm getting i'm actually enjoying this car a little too much right now i didn't know that they were this comfortable four-way speakers I'm gonna see if I can just drive this around a little bit real quick because this is looking like a very cool car. Captain's chair and this swivels. I can like, oh, so you can face that person. Yeah, but off. That's sick. And then it reclines if you wanna. all the way down dude th those i'm assuming obviously full flat too probably yes so you can easily sleep back here oh easily and then you got your obviously sunshade up there you got the ac controls and whatnot over there i've always wanted one of these it's this or so, high ace because i feel like it's so the perfect com like road trip slash camper car yeah so comfortable this thing i'm about to drive one though let's see what this is like Let's see what it's like driving a Mitsubishi Delica. I already got to drive the Cappuccino. I'm gonna drive this to like a super scenic spot too, so that should be fun. Well, let's give it a start actually. My first time starting a Delica, my first time even being in a Delica. Wow, starts right up. Nice diesel sound back here. Kaylee about to drive a Delica. Let me get my camera stuff. What I'm trying to get out of this drive is would this be an amazing road trip vehicle? That's really what I'm trying to learn right now. I know that it's a classic. I know that it's a great off-road vehicle. I've seen all those videos before. But could I get this in New York and just chill? Like as of right now, I'm not gonna lie, it feels like I'm riding on clouds. But we'll wait till we get on the highway and all that stuff. But it's very comfortable. Very quiet too. Not as huge either. I always think that these cars are so much bigger than they really are. But like it's still like this. You know what I mean? Like it's it's big. But it's still kind of like this where like it's not huge, huge. Like I'm not driving a school bus. You know what I mean? When I look at it, I view it as a school bus. But it's not that big. Alright, so I put the windows up just to make sure you guys can hear me. I still don't know if this would be the perfect road trip car because there's a lot of traffic in front of me and I'm going 60 kilometers an hour, but it's taking it beautifully. I'm at 1500 on the RPM right now. I don't want to gun it, but I'm going to gun it right now. I'm going 50. And I'm now going to put my foot all the way down and see what happens. from this right now is that it's kind of giving me like caveman vibes like i understand that it is a delica it's five times of the caveman five times the engine of a caveman and all that stuff five times more comfortable than a caveman too but i feel like what it lacks in power is kind of equivalent to a caveman like i don't feel like i can go 120 in this car period like maybe downhill 
I can do that in a cave in. It'll just be screaming. Where this is the exact opposite. It'll probably do 100 kilometers easily. Won't be screaming. But again, you're still underpowered, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, I'm still not going 80 miles per hour in this. Like, if I got a car this big, I want to be able to go 80 miles per hour. Because I just feel like I'm, again, riding on clouds. This is one of the most comfortable cars I've ever been in, period. But it's still underpowered as far as, like, the perfect road trip car. So, I don't really know yet. But we're going to keep driving it. I'm driving about 20 minutes away to this really cool scenic spot. And I'm going to give you some more pointers and updates throughout the way. I feel like we just need to embrace this drive right now. I don't even know where I'm really going to put this video in. I don't think I'm really going to title it, like, Driving a Delica in Hawaii. But I just want to highlight this drive and this scenery. I'm driving up maybe the whiniest road in Hawaii. Like, let me show you guys my phone. Look at this. Uphill in Adelica. And it's just so beautiful. Not a single car in front of me. Not a single car behind me. I don't know where exactly on my bucket list this lays, but look at this shot of the Delica in its natural habitat. I drove here for this view and it's way better than I thought. And it's raining. Does it get any more tropical than this? But, oh my God. This is where I was yesterday. This is Diamond Head Trail. I'm way higher than that. <laughs> look at this. This is absolutely crazy. So I'm driving down the mountain now and I can talk a little more about the Delica. I think that it is the perfect car for this. If I lived in Hawaii or if I lived somewhere where I was able to do things like this on the regular, like it wasn't a road trip. Like I live in New York City, so I could never find a view like this. Not tropical at least, maybe of the city, but a view like this nearby. I would have to drive to another state. I have to drive far away basically. I don't think it's a perfect road trip car, at least for me. I feel like I could struggle to get to 60 miles per hour, which is 100 kilometers an hour. I was gunning it around 80 and it didn't really want to go much faster. But in a setting like this, absolutely perfect. Like I need to drive a high ace or light ace, one of the two, whichever ones that are the vans of this and see what that's like. But I don't know if this is the perfect road trip car for me. For this though, like I said, I'm having like, come on, like, come on. Look at these views right here. So now that we're back on the residential roads, like I was saying earlier, I love the Delica. Don't even have my foot on the gas right now. It's just so comfortable. I think comfortability, I'm not even joking. This is one of the most comfortable cars I've ever been in. The brakes work perfectly fine. Like, and it has a little giddy up, look. It has a little giddy up. I don't think it can cruise at 80 miles per hour. Definitely not. But I do think at 50, 60, you're one of the most comfortable cars on the road and you're chilling and you're styling. Like this is just as big of a flex as any K-Van, any K-Car, any Cappuccino. This is probably even a bigger flex than a Cappuccino, honestly, because it's like, it's so massive. Just made it back to JDM Hawaii. Shout out again to the man, the myth, the legend, Slater. If you're in Hawaii, you know where to go. You know where to go to buy your JDM goodies. This 92 Star Wagon though has been one of the best cars I've ever drove. I cannot wait to edit this video. I don't even know what my final thoughts are. I mean, the car's comfortable, it's cool. I went from thinking it was too huge to being like, honestly, I feel like it's a little wider than a Cayman, not by much. It's definitely not even as wide as that BMW. And it's quiet, it's chill, it's, it's fun, it's fun. Maybe you'll see me with one of these one day because I love to sprinkle in all types of cars, but 92 Delica, JDM Hawaii. That's the end of this video. Peace out.